Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, welcome back to Jonathan's Game Cross. Today, we're in Couple Space Program, and I'm just going to show you a couple of the cool planes that I have built. I'm in version 1.1.1. Uh, version Couple Space Program 1.1 was updated a couple of days ago, and I've just updated it, uh, which is great. Uh, okay, some of my mods, including the Kerbal Engineer Redux, have not been updated, so these may be calculating stuff, as in like thrust to weight ratio and engine performance. Totally wrong, but that's okay. So, first of all, we've got the Scrapjack, which I just... I mean, it's just the name I sort of mashed together, because I couldn't think of anything else. Um, it has. Um, so it's got a regular single Mark One cockpit. One very, very large Goliath turbofan engine, which is kind of the base of the entire jet. On the back, we've got four, count them, four Juno basic jet engines, just for a little bit of additional thrust. Um, because of the way that this is mounted, so this is probably the biggest drawback that I discovered with the plane, is that um, if you, obviously if you inline mount the Goliath engines, you can either have it showing or not showing the shroud. Either way, whether you have shroud enabled or disabled, this gap here does not, it doesn't, this, the gap isn't, it doesn't exist. So your air intake through this way will not have, will not work. It's why, um, because obviously this, this is a part in the way. So that's why I've got these radial air intakes here, and then two radial air intakes either side there, so that this engine here will get, will get, you know, air. Uh, otherwise, what tended to happen with this plane was is that, I pitched up, these little air intakes wouldn't be enough to give enough air for combustion for the Goliath as well as each individual um, Juno engine. So the Junos would flame out first uh, if you pitched up or down too quickly. So I discovered that and then I've solved the problem. I hope, well, I think solved the problem by putting that on top. Um, we've got an air brake there. And no parish. Oh yeah, there's two side parachutes mounted here in the event of a catastrophic emergency. Um, and that's about it, really. We'll give it a try. Um, obviously, since we're in version 1.1, they've got the new engines with suspension. Oh, sorry, the new wheels with suspension, uh, which are quite cool. Uh, they're a bit wobbly. I'm still getting used to landing with them, but we'll see how we go. Um, I let, well, first of all, uh, I set number one, actually control group number one, to just the air brake. So I can apply that without having the brakes on. Um, the I've set brakes to also include the reverse thrust. Um, so that helps us slow down quite quickly. It's good. Um, and we're going to go with my favorite pilot. We're going to go with Sam Leanne. Uh, former shuttle pilot, Sam Land. Oh yeah, there you go. Clean. And then save, and then we shall launch this one. And brakes. Cool. So, SCS on, RCS on. We'll open the fuel gauge thing. And start. Brakes off. So all five engines are currently going. Give it a thrust. If you'd like to look at that whole turbine starting to turn. In the event of the emergency, it's okay. MLM will be sucked into the main engine. Right. So let's have a look at our minimum takeoff speed is gonna be looks like 50, 59. Landing her up. Level down to about 10 degrees. How does she go? Getting up to speed pretty quickly. I mean, the thrust to weight ratio is 3. Point something, 3.6. So it moves fast. I put radiators on because this thing can heat up quite a bit. I might turn them on. I probably should set an extra group for these, but never mind. It's on the to do list. The other thing about the radiators is that they take, they use electric charge, so 
the engine's idling and you got this going, you may you'll actually potentially use lose your SAS. Yeah, see we're starting to heat up now. They're turning red. Right. So we've, we've broken the sand barrier. Yeah. Let down to half throttle. And we'll go like this. Um, pretty much the maximum operational speed of this jet is about 600 meters per second. Any faster than that, and the cockpit explodes. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That roll axis is ridiculously um, responsive. If I, I uh, low down a bit. Way, way too responsive. I'll need to actually tune that down. Would you stop, please? There we go, there we go. And then and sort of tap it. And kind of rolls to one side because of the, root, the, the, the weight distribution, which is a bit annoying, but it's still fun. I can do this. Nope, oh, we're getting lag because we're just over the KSC. Yeah, so this one performs not too bad. It's kind of cool. It certainly answers my question as to whether or not I can build a plane around a single big engine, and you certainly can. You do have limits. And landing is a bit tricky. So I might just slow down. Get about there ish. There ish. Yeah, and then we're at 1600. Maybe really sketchy, but we'll see how we go. And one. At low speed, it's going to try and roll, which is really nasty. Whoa! Oh, this is not good. Whoa. Oh, yeah. 